Hello and welcome to my second episode of this series of self-hosting. Today we're going to be talking about DocuWiki. What is DocuWiki? DocuWiki is a personal wiki. Let's open up our dashboard. We can see it here. DocuWiki, personal wiki, just as I said. And let's go ahead to their website and find out more information about it. So some of the features of DocuWiki are it's easy to install, easy to use, requires low system resources, and what I like most about it is it doesn't require a database. So we're going to go ahead, install and configure it. Let's hit up the installation guide. Now if you watched my last video, you know we have Open Media Vault installed and they already have a web server set up called Nginx. So we can skip the first few steps and jump right down to step three here unpack the distribution tarball and upload copy the files to your web space and then move on to open the install.php file in your browser so what we're going to do is first log in to open media vault and get that ready So here's Open Media Vault. As you saw in my last video, we're going to jump down to Nginx websites and then over to servers and we're going to add a new instance. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look. I do have three sites set up. One of them is DocuWiki right here. That I already have my information in. But I want to set this up completely new. So we're going to add and select the folder that I store my Nginx sites in creatively named Nginx we're going to select use public directory and we're just going to name it test and then we need to pick a port you can pick anything here but you cannot pick something that you're using for another service and the more services you have it might be more difficult to think of a new port number which I've found to be true and then we're going to scroll down to enable PHP since it relies on PHP and we're going to pick this PHP FPM pool if you don't have this you're going to need to go over to this pools tab before you get into this and create one and then we're going to deselect HTML and select index.php because that is what it uses. And we'll click save and apply. So now this server or this service is up and running. We can open it. We're going to get a 404. And the reason for that is because the web server is looking at this directory and that directory. Well, first, there's nothing there. Also, that directory doesn't even exist. So we're going to need to create the directory and put the contents into it next. So let's go ahead to find the download package for DocuWiki. Here it is. We'll do the stable release and we will copy the link. And the next step will be to download that package. So let's SSH into our Media Vault, change to that directory, and download it. There it is. Now we can extract it. Oh. 
Let's take a look at that. Let's do some cleanup. Remove the tire ball. And then lastly, we need to rename the DocuWiki folder that extracted to test. There we go. All right, then let's go back and refresh this. We get an error message. Let's take a look at the DocuWiki installation guide. Open the install PHP file. So let's try that. We get the same error message, and I know why we get that. The reason for it is when we created these directories, we did it as our user that we SSH'd into the server with. So that's Tony PC. Nginx runs under the www-data user, and we need to have the directory owned by that user in order for Nginx to make reads and writes to it. So let's go ahead and do that. And now you can see this has changed from being owned by Tony PC to www-data. And let's refresh this page. Now we have the install for DocuWiki. We can name this anything we want. We'll just say test. Doesn't matter what you name it. We'll put a user, a name, an email. and a password. So there we go. The configuration was finished successfully. You may delete the install.php file and continue to your new DocuWiki. And if we click on that, this is our DocuWiki. And we can go ahead and delete that install.php as it suggests. not going to let us because uh, we do not own this directory anymore so we're going to have to sudo that and now it's been removed and with this you have a working installation of DocuWiki so let's go ahead and log in Here we are greeted with the same page. Let's go ahead and log into the admin panel. Well, what is this? It says your data directory is not properly secured. Please read. Let's go ahead and click on that. Okay, so I have read through this before. I've done this before. I've set this up before. Well, basically what we are being told is that these directories, data, conf, bin, and vendor, should not be served to the person browsing. If we were running an Apache server, there are included HT access files that would prevent it, but since we're running Engine X, those folders, directories, are still accessible, so we need to scroll down and find the directions to prevent that from running from Nginx. And here they are here. All we need to do is copy this. Go back to our Open Media Vault, click on this site, edit, and paste it in extra options. 
we'll hit save and apply Now if we go back here and we refresh, that warning has been removed. What can you do in here with the administration panel? Well, you can set up users, set up users for anybody that you like, and then you can set up access control lists or ACLs. So if you want one page to be available to a certain user but not to another user you can do that in here you can also download and install extensions and there's a couple extensions that I find almost necessary in order to have a good time in DocuWiki let's say so I'm going to go ahead and log in to the existing instance of this that I have here We'll take a look at some of the extensions that I have or the plugins, whatever you want to call them. Um, one of them that I really like is DIR or directory. If you're a Windows user, that should be apparent. Um, maybe not necessary, but these next two are definitely necessary in my opinion. The move plugin, which makes well, you can read here, move and rename pages and media files while maintaining the links. And that's important, while maintaining the links. And then the next one is page buttons, which adds a page menu to delete the current page, add a sub page, and add a subfolder. So those two, I don't know why it's not just a function of DocuWiki by default, but these two add something that needs to be there. So I would definitely recommend page buttons plugin and uh, where was the other one? Move plugin. DIR, directory, whatever you want to call it. You might want it, you might not. But those other two I feel you need to have. Alright, and then let's move on to why you might want to have DocuWiki installed. So let's go ahead back to my actual instance of this. What I have in here is recipes. You can see all these different recipes that I have. I also have maintenance records of my motorcycles. So we can take a look at my XS1100. Uh, parts list I also had in there. Uh, we got my KLR650. We have this server, the actual instance of this server where I have Docker can container commands um, archived if I need to reference to update them and other stuff just like the things that I've done to root my f phone and to set up different apps on them that require root it's it's just a good way if you ever need to have data that you may need to reference later it's available to you instantly and you can share this data with other people so I do, I do not have a whole lot in here right now. I'm building it. I just recently started using DocuWiki and there are other options available to you. So if you go to, uh, so, okay, the, yeah, the awesome self-hosted list on GitHub is a great resource if you're gonna start self-hosting. It lists all the different packages and services you could possibly use. And if you go down to wikis, which we're talking about right now, you can see there's a ton of different wikis you could self-host. And a lot of them have demos, so you don't even need to install them in order to test them out to see if you would like them or not. Um, one of the ones that I've tried was Bookstack. Bookstack was very good, it was very polished, except for I did not like the structure of it. I moved on to DocuWiki and I love how it's structured, although it is admittedly not as polished. Another one that a lot of people like is TiddlyWiki. Not the best name, but I've heard good things about it. So that's another one that you could try. Um, when you're hosting yourself, you can test all these different ones out and find the best fit for you. My personal preference right now is DocuWiki, and that's what I would recommend. 
If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, no matter what they are. I will try to answer them. Um, and I thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.